Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate data communication between two transreceiver modules. As you can see, this is a transreceiver module. In the previous video, this module was only a transmitter module. Now in this video, I have modified this module into a transreceiver module. You can see this is a transreceiver module and here you can see this is another transreceiver module. So I am going to I am going to communicate between these two transreceiver modules. So the first transreceiver module is going to send data to the second transreceiver module and the second transreceiver module will receive the data, it will process the required actions and it will send some data to the first transreceiver module. So you can see here in the same in this board, in this board there is a modulation unit and it is used for both transmission and reception and I am using power line communication to couple both the transreceiver units. So this transreceiver unit 1 and this is the transreceiver unit 2 and here you can see this is the coupling transformer for the complete transreceiver 1, 2 and this is the coupling transformer for coupling, coupling transformer for transreceiver module 1. So like this you can see there are two transformers and there are two transreceiver modules. This is the module 1 and this is the module 2. So I am going to establish communication between these two modules. This will be a bidirectional communication. So in the previous video I was doing unidirectional communication but here in this video you can see a bidirectional communication on a power line. So this is the this is the transreceiver unit 1 and this is the transreceiver unit 2. So this transreceiver unit will transmit and receive data to the other, other transreceiver module and this transreceiver unit will transmit and receive data to the other transreceiver module. So like this there will be a bidirectional communication. This module will transmit data to here and this module will transmit data to here. See similarly this module will receive data from here and this module will receive data from here. So let us discuss the transreceiver module. You can see Arduino you know transmit and receive pins both are used for the transmission and reception of signal. So here you can see this is the transmit part with an optical isolator and for the reception part also there is same optical isolator. So Arduino you know is basically optically isolated from the modulation circuitry. So you can see here whatever data it is getting it will invert and it will fit to this triple five timer IC for modulation. So I am going to use ASK modulation technique as I have already discussed in the previous videos. So after the modulation, the modulated signal will be will be coupled to this transformer and from here it will be sent to this transformer and here there will be a detector, envelope detector and it will it, and we will be able to generate the original signal and it will be optically isolated and finally it will be fed to this Arduino Uno. So like this in the reverse way the signal will flow in the similar manner. It will be transmitted from here. There is an optical isolator here. Here is the modulating circuitry. It will modulate the data and it will feed into this transformer, coupling transformer and finally it will travel all along the all along the power line and it will be here demodulated by this demodulator. So one important thing is that this line and this line there is a imp there is an impedance difference that's why i have used a balloon transformer balance unbalanced transformer to match the impedance of these two lines so directly we cannot connect this line and this line because here there is an oscillator at one frequency and here there is an oscillator at another frequency both the oscillators are not exactly same they are not exactly matched that's why there is a voltage difference, a phase difference between the two oscillators. That's why we need to match these two lines, power lines. That's why I am using a balloon transformer here. So like this, the setup is tested. So you can see here communication is going on. Transmission and reception is going on between the two modules. Bidirectional data transfer is going on. So let us see the data on the PC console. So as you can see here, there are two serial consoles. So this is the this is the console of the second 
ट्रांस रिसीवर यूनिट एंड दिस इज द कॉन्सल ऑफ द फर्स्ट ट्रांस रिसीवर यूनिट यू कैन सी देर इज ए डेटा ट्रांसफर गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन देम यू कैन सी देर इज ए डेटा ट्रांसफर गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन देम द डेटा ट्रांसफर इज वेरी क्लियर यू कैन सी देर इज ए डेटा ट्रांसफर गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन द टू ट्रांस रिसीवर मॉड्यूल्स सो लाइक दिस वी कैन कम्युनिकेट बिटवीन टू आर्डोनो यूनो बोर्ड यूजिंग ए एस के मॉड्यूलेशन टेक्निक एंड द कम्युनिकेशन कैन बी मेड अ बाई डिरेक्शनल कम्युनिकेशन one important thing in this matter is that we need to use a balloon transformer to match the impedance of these two lines so here you can see the final view of the circuit this is the trans receiver 1 this is the trans receiver 2 this is the power line with the first transformer this is the second transformer and both the power lines are matched with this balloon transformer so this is how we can communicate we can communicate between the two trans receiver modules in a bidirectional communication method and the impedance matching between the two power lines will be achieved with a balloon transformer thanks a lot thanks for watching